Greetings, my friends. Jason here. Hope you guys are doing well. Listen, I was doing some light reading on the uh, the world of Stoic philosophy. This particular book is written by Marcus Aurelius. Let me see if I can find the passage. Yeah, it's called Meditations. Um, you can get this on Amazon for really, really cheap. Anyway, the point of the matter is there's a passage in book five where Marcus is talking about human nature. He's talking about his own nature and the people around him and he identifies three types of people. And there are social and political ramifications for all these actions and viewpoints um, that carry through even today. Marcus lived from, let's see, 181 to 180 AD, so about 1800, 1900 years ago. And uh, he's talking about giving in this particular instance. So let me read you this passage and we'll talk about what it could mean uh, for you, and I'll translate it or see if I can translate it to really wordy, written in that old school sort of uh, way of communication. So he says, or he writes, one man, when he has done a service to another, is ready to set it down to his account as a favor conferred. Okay? Second man, another is not ready to do this, but still thinks of this man as a debtor, and he knows what he has done. Then he comes to the third type of man. The third, in a manner, does not even know what he has done. But he is like a vine that has produced grapes and seeks for nothing more after it has once produced its proper fruit. As a horse when he has run, a dog when he has tracked the game, a bee when it has made the honey, so a man when he has done a good act does not call out for others to come and see, but he goes on to another act, as a vine goes on to produce again the grapes in season. Hmm... What does all this mean? So the first man he's talking about is a man that will not do for others unless there's something to be gained. In other words, unless there's some way of him being recognized or something in it for him. Right? We've all been around people like that. We've experienced business relationships and personal relationships that were like that. The second man won't even do anything because he thinks somebody else owes him something. Right? There's a lot of this going on in the world right now. You owe me this. You owe me that. You know, you have more than me, therefore you owe me. You know, or you did this to me, so therefore blah, 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 blah. You know, this whole mentality of somebody owes me something, therefore I'm not going to move or I'm not going to experience life or give anything to them until I get what I think I deserve, right? And then there's the third person. The third person who basically just goes through life doing what he needs to do, giving according to his nature. And... What Marcus is talking about here basically comes down to the difference between someone who acts only for himself and someone who is outward focused. Okay, So outward focus, what does that mean? And how does it apply to our relationships, businesses, you know, whatever the case may be? Well, what, does your, what would your life look like if you gave compliments to your significant other, to your children, to your friends, to your family? and you didn't expect to get one in return. You just gave. That's what you did. You went on to the next one. Right? What would that look like? How would those people feel? How would they regard you? How much more important would you be in their eyes? Likewise with business. You know, what would your business look like if you actually gave a shit about your clients and your customers? You know, we um I'm in a CrossFit business right now with a few partners as one of my businesses and we've been able to grow that business from negative cash flow last year we finished the year positive cash flow and I have plans to double the revenue, which is a small number, where it's a new business, um, in a fairly competitive market. And we have CrossFit gyms all around us and yet we continue to grow. Why is that? It's because we give a shit about the people who come through the door. You know, Yes, we want to get paid. However, we don't want someone's money who doesn't find value in what it is that we're doing. Uh, in other words, we're giving a service to people who are looking to receive that service. right? We want them to have the best experience. We want them to come in and get what it is that they want from what it is that we do, first and foremost. And then if we get paid on the back end, so much the better. We're not seeking to take from people first. So these lessons, written almost 2,000 years ago, 1,900 years ago, whatever the case may be, I mean, tells you right then and there that just observing human nature, it hasn't changed much in 2,000 years, right? And I mentioned the social and political ramifications of this. Obviously, there are people who feel like human nature is perfectible. And, you know, if you take a look throughout history, it isn't. It's not perfectible. We're fallible creatures. We always will be. It doesn't mean we can't acknowledge it, 
and go on about our day and go on giving. That's not what it means. It just means that if we're expecting other people to be perfect and other people to act in a certain way, then we ourselves are becoming authoritarian and we ourselves are going against nature. So think about that. Maybe pick up a copy of this book, super cheap, I don't know, four or five books on Amazon. They'll deliver it to your door, right? Um, check it out. Lots of lessons for life. And uh, let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, hit the button. If you have a comment or a question, drop it below. Feel free to share it out and uh, let me know what you think. Take care, guys. See ya.